Richmond International Raceway. It's the location for stop number 27 on the Casual GTX Cup Series. It's the final short track race under the lights for the season. As we are here today for the running of the Chevrolet Camaro 400 as we're set for racing here today. And because Chevrolet sponsors this race, it's appropriate that Chevrolet has the front row for this event here, by the way. And on the pole for this event, it's Cole Deaver in the, in the, in the Oreo Rich Chevrolet. He'll be alongside Chris Dollarton in the Stacker 2 Chevrolet Car 23. Both drivers, both drivers by the way, carry in-car cameras in today's event. Dollarton's wins this season came at Talladega and at Texas. While Deaver has won the All-Star Race, but he has yet to win the race this season in points, from, a, from, a, from a point standpoint. Row 2 is Dylan Young, the winner of the season at New Hampshire, and alongside of him, Johnny Gardner, the winner of the season at Michigan in car 22, for, uh, Chevrolet and a Dodge. Third row has the winner of the, winner of the season at Martinsville, and the second race at Pocono, it is Jesse Turner in the Castrol GTX Chevy car 27. And the winner of the first title race of the season is Jesse, it's Jane, it's G, bleh, it's Gene Sanford in car 21, the race of Chevrolet. Going to row four, two-time winner of the season, Charles Sanford, Gene's big brother, that is, in the in the Sonic Chevrolet. He'll be alongside the points leader, Kyle Matthews, in the Net Zero Chevrolet Car 24. Three-time winner of the season, including the Daytona 500. Fifth row will have Nathan Hudson in Car 38 and Zachary Fitzwater, two-time winner of the season, in Car 39, the Mobile One Dodge. Sixth row will have the number 33 Ream Chevrolet and Joshua Osborne. The winner of the season in Indianapolis, and beside him will be Ashlyn Boyd in the 18 MBNA Pontiac. Going to row number seven, we'll have Keith Batson, who has our third in car camera. He'll be alongside Jessica Shelton, three time winner season in the RB4 car 17. And two of those runs came on road courses at Riverside and Watkins Glen. She also scored at North Wilkesboro. Next row down, going for the Richmond sweep, it is Levi McIntyre in the, in the Fast and All Ford car 60, and Quentin Moore in car 89, racing for Jesus Chevrolet. Next row down has Matt McIntyre in the Timberwolf Pontiac, car 37, and Cat Batson in the Track Gear Ford, number 9. Next row down has car number 30, 99, Benny Watson, who won a season at Rockingham. He'll be alongside Sky Commons in the 62 South Point Hotel and Casino Chevy. <clears throat> Next row down, the man in the who won a 600 a season, William Brock in the Geico Ford, car number 4, and the Bass Pro Shops Tracker Boat Chevy, car 8, of uh, Rob Evans. Next row down has car number 45 is Mike Becker in the Sprint PCS Chevy and the 88 Navy Chevy of Jake Jefferson who won a season in California. Next row down has Eli Bright in car 15 and number 57 Henry Sanford. Next row down after that will be car 87 Dion Moon and beside him 66 Elijah Gordon in the Duraflame Dodge. Next row down is Zach Winkle in the Geico Chevy car 17 and the number one Gala Transportation Dodge of uh, Bobby Frazier sitting alongside. Next row down has car number 10, Simon Bloomfield, and the in a Nesquik Chevrolet. And the man who won the Pepsi 400 this season, it is Vince Almarego in the Shell Pontiac, car 44. Next row down has car 34, Trey Wright in the Ghouls Pump Chevy, and Carter Friesen in car 3060, Stanley Tools Pontiac. Next row down has Aiden Shepard in car 00, the Aqua Fresh Pontiac. Beside him will be car number 5. The GMAC Chevrolet of Ryan Brommer. Next row down has as Mitchell Collins in car 12, the Verizon Wireless Dodge, and 74 Staff America Chevrolet of James Henry. Next row down after that will be, will be Diego Yepes in the 63 Lysol Punic and Joshua Collard coming from way back in the auto value bumper to bumper Toyota car 43. Collard won the season at Sonoma. And starting, and starting out back will be Benjamin Miles in car 14, the Navy Chevrolet. His winning season came at the first stop at Darlington. And speaking of Darlington, I forgot to mention Johnny Gardner has had won at uh, Michigan this season. Well, he also won the last race in the tour, which was the Southern 500 at Darlington. So, so again, in-car cameras today will be carried by our front row, Cole Deaver and Chris Darlington, and along with Keith Badson. Those three will be carrying our in-car cameras in today's event at Richmond. 60 laps of action here for the Chevy, Chevrolet Camaro 400. And here comes the band to fire them up. Gentlemen, start your engines! 
We saw we saw last we saw the last recent tour of Darlington how things can change. Well, it all changed in about the last four laps of the event, as the men's point lead Kyle Matthews had it up at about three hundred forty some odd points. All went to all all went all, all, all was all eroded, and um, with about four to go, and he got involved in the late race crashes. So the leads now went from three forty seven to two eighty five. Uh, still a big points lead coming in the Richmond, but nonetheless, so. Uh, and the guys like uh, Dalton, Shelton, uh, Turner, and uh, and Charles Samuel, they are not going to let any bad luck on comment. They they all need more stuff, more stuff like this to happen more frequently as the last next few races. As the green flag flies, we're back. We are underway in the Chevrolet 400 at Richmond. Cole Deaver jumps out in front with, with Dylan Young's second position as they come off the fourth turn. Lap speeds here at Richmond are very, very fast here. We've seen speeds of upwards of well over 130 miles per hour. This is a three-quarter mile D-shape. It turns banked at about 14 degrees in banking. To give you an idea, it's the same kind of banking you see at Kansas, Kentucky, and um, and also I think uh, California Speedway has uh, is 14 degrees of banking as well. The big two-mile D-shape racetrack. The only other track that's kind of shaped about like this is uh, Iowa Speedway. It's Speedway is it's, it's larger at seven eighths of a mile. Off turn number four, they come. Keith Batson, and are getting by Joshua Osborne. Batson looking a little bit racy here today. He's up the fourth position right now in the number thirty-two White Rain Ford. As he as we're riding with Keith Batson, and going now trying to go inside of Joshua of uh, not Joshua Osborne. He already got by him. He's getting by trying to get by Charles Sanford. In car 29, the Sonic Chevrolet. In the meantime, battle for the lead, uh, developing up front as Cole Beaver and Dylan Young go at it for position. Young looks to the low side of Deaver's. They come off turn number two. Let's see what happens. Nothing doing for the moment here as they come off the fourth turn. Dylan Young, of course, will have Miller Light as a sponsor next season with the uh, 1999 Cup car set. And it'll be and it'll be a Ford next season as well. While of course Steaver back of course with the GM Goodwrench cars next season. So battles going on all over the track right now as we watch Jesse Turner in 27 and 99. Benny Watson, go ahead, that's fifth and sixth on your screen right there. Osborne's in seventh. Mike Becker up to eighth position. Ninth is. The 37 of Matt McIntyre and Gene Sanford right now, currently in 10th as she's trying to go for 9th on Matt McIntyre for position now. As Sanford moves to the low side, McIntyre to the high side. That's Le that's Matt McIntyre, Levi McIntyre. Meanwhile, in the, in the white and blue 60, he is moving his way through the field as well in the Carl Edwards Special. Levi running in 12th position at the moment. And Nathan Hudson, meanwhile, slipping by se several of the drivers here. Hudson up to the top ten now. Now he, now he looks low on Gene Samper for position. That's, I think, seventh and eighth on your screen, I think. No, that's actually eighth and ninth. Right there. And Gene moves up the track here as Osborne, meanwhile, has gotten by both Benny Watson and Jesse Turner. So Osborne at the fifth position right now. And new lead ch and a lead change happening here. Dylan Young's taking the lead from Cole Deaver, but Deaver trying to fight back on him. Go off the second turn. No dice for the moment, though. As we're, as we're already completed the 12th lap of this race, this time by will be 12. So 12 in the books, and we're down to 48 to go here at Richmond International Raceway. Early on here in the Chevrolet Camaro 400. There's no Camaros in the field out there, but but the Chevrolets are either Monte Carlos or Impalas. And now here comes Deaver back again for the lead. He's got it. 
So Deaver takes the lead back on lap number 13. Charles Samper again runs third. Batson's in fourth. Fifth is now Jesse Turner he's, as he's gotten by Osborne for that position. In the meantime, Matt McIntyre has, has moved his way back in the top ten. He's up to the... Yep. He's going to move up another spot as, he, as he's as about to go by Benny Watson in 99. That was close between those two right there. Seventh and eighth on your screen. Gene Samper ninth and Eli Bright up to tenth position now. Mike Becker right there behind in eleventh. Then Levi McIntyre 12th. And look at Joshua Collard. He started this race in 40th position. He's up to 14th right now. That 43 is very, very fast. He made that 12th position now. So Collard from the Jelly Old UK. And he nearly pulled off the win at Darlington, by the way, only to get past at about really the wrong time because, because Johnny Gardner had passed him just about a few minutes, a few seconds before the yellow flag flew to end the race. And so, and I see 34 car, uh, Trey Wright. He's another surprise. He's moved this way up to the top 15 now. He's gotten by Collard. So will Shelton and so will Dollarton. Jess currently right now sitting fourth in the standings. Dalton currently currently second in the points right now. On board Chris Dalton's car. Dalton running in 13th position now. Shelton up ahead in 12th. Mentioned color 13th. Kyle Matthews is 14 right now. Here comes Nathan Hudson to the low side. He about put the bumper to Matthews in the 24 car. Matthews sporting the net zero colors again this in this race. This will be as, as he come off the fourth turn. And Hudson is going to get by both Matthews and Dollarton. And here comes Quentin. He's going to bring Quentin Moore with him in the 89, the Morgan Shepherd cars. In the meantime, Benjamin Miles, who started this race in 41st position, and he's also working his way into the top 20. Let's see where Benjamin's clocked at this time by the 14. This time by clocked in the 16th position, so he's up. So he's up 25 spots from the from the where he, from whence he started. In the meantime, Johnny Gardner he slid back. He slid. He slid. He slid, he slid, he slid back early on in the going. He started fourth. He's now currently 16th in the moment. Now he's gonna make a three one on both Miles and Hudson. Ooh, they're touching this a little bit. Come off that second turn. So a little slamming and framing going on here as, as they come up uh, here in the middle of the pack. And Collard, meantime. Turn, turn, her unleashing the horsepower of that of that Toyota to the inside lane, and Sky Commons has worked his way up to the field now in a, in a 62 car, trying to make his way up through the for position. Leader of the race right now currently is still is currently leader of the race currently right now is Dylan Young in the two with Deaver second, then Samper, Badson, and Jesse Turner the top five at the moment. Eli Bright's 19th right now at the moment in the in the Oakwood Home Chevy. Made that 18th. Now Dalton's 19th. 20th is Ashlyn Boyd. Jay Jefferson looking for 21st, and he's gonna get it come off the second turn as he's getting as he gets by Nathan Hudson. Zachary Fitzwater's 23rd. 24th is Lee by McIntyre. Twenty fifth is William Brock. Kyle Matthews sliding, sliding back as Carter Friesen goes by him. So Friesen's now twenty sixth. Matthews has dropped to twenty seventh in the field. So Matthews struggling a little bit here at Richmond. And this is the kind of night that the guys like uh, Dalton, Turner, Shelton, and Sanford, as I said before, all want to have, all, all want to see right there. 
as a, and again, not to wish any bad luck on Matthews. Uh, uh, again, again, I'm sure they're not want to wish any bad luck on Matthews, but this is what they need to gain points. Matthews, remember, had a top five run going on at Darlington. He was fourth when the when the crash happened, involving he and Gene Sanford, and that topped his points lead from two, from 347 to 285, coming out of of uh, that race at Darlington. And there's the rest of the field right there going by as now Dylan Young. We focus back on him as we're about to complete the 30th lap and we'll have 30 to go here at Richmond International Raceway as the AC Delco Chevy is out in front here. That's the 2001 Monte Carlo he's driving. Devers Monte Carlo, a year older, a year younger, a 2002 model. So the top five cars have pretty much stayed status quo for a while. We ride on board Keith Batson's car. Goes into turn number one, just about on that yellow line on the track here off the second turn. And he'll go into turn three at about 145 miles an hour. Now moves into the off. Down about 112 in the middle of three and four. Force the throttle. And he'll go into turn number one at 153 miles per hour. So lap, the best lap for Batson so far, 135.79. And Kyle Landers currently holds the best lap at 136.26, but to no avail right now, because Matthews currently right now is sitting in 26th position at the moment. And there's a look from onboard Cole Deaver's machine. Beavers staying close on Dylan Young, trying to size him up for a for a shootout here in the end. These two have been close all race long. Dylan Young's car a slight bit loose to one and two, but keeping the handle on that machine. <coughs> Laps click off though, we're down to 25 to go here at Richmond International Raceway. And a look now from Chris Dawson's onboard camera. Look at the three wide behind there. That's Collard, Moore, and Shelton. And Chris is going to go with Jess and try to shove her by those two drivers. And he'll try to benefit from that as well as they come off the fourth corner. And that moves Shelton up to about, I think, 13th position. Now he comes up to the back bumper of the RB's Ford. So Dalton's going to try to take 13 position away, and he will do so through one and two. So Dalton's 13th. Benjamin Miles, who started this race dead last, is right now is currently running in 12th position. So he and Collard both have moved their way, their way up to the field in a hurry. Shelton's 14th, Collard's 15th, 16th is Moore, 17th is Becker, then it's Hudson, Fitzwater, and Sky Commons, the top 20 at the moment. Twenty laps to go. There's the spectator vantage point right there. And one we gotta give a call that's running right up ahead of Chris Darton. That is Trey Wright in the number 34 machine. Wright, who had not had much success this season so far in that number 34 Gould's Pump Chevy. He currently right now sits in 11th position at the moment in the in the old Mike McLaughlin colors, and that car has been running very, very strong. Here today, and you and you can bet they'll want to keep that set that short track set up when we head to the next time we go on the short track at Martinsville 
about a couple of races for now. The next race on the tour after this will be at Dover for the Peak Any Freeze 400. Then they'll go to a couple. Then they'll go to two straight on short track short tracks after that at Martinsville and again at North Wilkesboro. Meantime, Johnny Gardner runs in 10th position right now. Gene Samper 9th, Benny Watson 8th, Matt McIntyre 7th, Osborne 6th, Jesse Turner 5th, and Keith Batson 4th. Charles Sanders in 3rd posi position. And the battle for the lead has now kind of ballooned a little bit as Dylan Young is pulled away from Cole Beaver at the moment. Young looking for his second victory of the season. Beaver looking for his first. And they are coming up on lap traffic right now here with just 15 laps remaining. In this race, the margin of big, the margin of margin between first and second right now is 39 hundredths of a second. Let's see what it is this time by as they, as they cross the start finish line. Deaver is closing up though a little bit. And he's knocked six hundredths off it's now down to thirty-three hundredths of a second between the front two cars. It's just gonna depend on how they get through the lap traffic here. And Richmond's gonna be the key. <clears throat> and whoa, that was close there. Diego Yepes and Henry Samper just about caused chaos in front of Dylan Young. Young about young young's about I don't imagine is a little bit frustrated right now. He's about to pull the he was about to pull a but put the bumper on that sixty three car, and this is what he needs to have right there a lap car between he and the second place car to try to keep to try to keep the lead. And Deaver now trapped behind Henry Sanford in the fifty seven car. And whoa, Deaver got moved up the track right there. He got a little loose through the middle of one and two. The car walked up the hill. Here comes Charles Sanford for second place, and he's going to get it. And now he's going to have to deal with his brother right now for the to try to lap him. And Sanford says, I'm not running behind Henry. I want to get by him. And Henry says, uh-uh. <laughs> so two lap cars are in between the first and second place cars at the moment. As we're now down to ten laps to go. So Dylan Young, if not barring if anything goes wrong in that car, should be in pretty good shape right now to take the win here in the Chevrolet Monte Car Chevrolet Camaro 400. But as I said, we're not we're not going to try to we're trying not to jump ahead of ourselves here because, uh, like I said, there's possibilities of anything going wrong with any of the cars here, or a caution flag shaking things up. Young running right behind Aiden Shepard right now in the number double zero Aquafresh uh, Pontiac. And now Charles Samper looks low on Diego Yepes. Goes by him. Now you have to deal with Vince Almarego in the 44 car. The, as Samper goes by the Pepsi 400 winner. Margin in, uh, from first to second right now is 43 hundredths of a second between the front two cars. And Samper's going to go by. Aiden Shepard flies by him, and now he's got Dylan. Now he's got nothing but Dylan Young in front of him right now. Young looking for his second victory of the season. Sanford looking for his third. Charles won the season earlier at at the first race at Pocono, and he also won the night race at Bristol this season. Young off the fourth turn they come here as they now have six laps to go. He gets by Ryan Brommer in the five car. And boy, Charles is right up on him right now as they come off the second turn. Marginal last time that by was down to less than a quarter of a second between the front two cars. Elijah Gordon just up ahead of him right now in the 66 car. And just by getting by the lap car, that's, got, that's cost Charles a little bit of time right there. Five to go. Up the track goes the 29 car as they come off the second turn. Four to go. Sixty-six car. Elijah Gordon just up ahead of Dylan Young. Right now, let's see what happens as they come off the the fourth corner. Three laps to go. And Young pulling away right now. It's just it's now seventy-two hundredths of a second between the front two cars, but he's. But the car walked up the hill that time. 
off the second turn. Off turn number four, he comes now with two laps to go. Off turn number two, Young walk, walk up the hill again off the second turn. Samper's closing up right now in the 29 machine. Dylan saying, don't do it again off the fourth turn at this next time, by because the white flag's waving. One to go. Dylan Young out in front. He gets by Elijah Gordon in the 66 cars. They come off the second turn here. Sanford trying to get by him. Uh, get by Elijah Gordon. They come off, come off the fourth turn now. Young off the fourth turn. It comes. Charles is going to fall just a little bit short. Dylan Young wins the Chevy Camaro 400 here at Richmond. Second victory of the season for Dylan Young as he as he takes the AC Delco Chevrolet to the to the victory lane as as a, a card and a model of his favorite year in NASCAR 2001 takes it all here today starts second and ends up leading the most laps and takes the victory here today Charles Samper comes home second Cole Deaver held off Keith Batson for third Batson finishes fourth fifth will go to Jesse Turner sixth will go to to Joshua Osborne. 7th to Matt McIntyre, 8th to Gene Samper, 9th to Johnny Gardner, and Benny Watson will come home in 10th as Chris Dalton goes by in the 23 car. He will finish this race in 11th position. So 27 races are in the books, and 7 races are left to go. Dover, Martinsville, North Wilkesboro, Charlotte. Rockingham, Phoenix, and Homestead. That's all that's left after, you know, as the, uh, as the remaining races of the season. Average speed, 134, 684. Caution free at Richmond. I'll tell you what. Caution free at Bristol and then Richmond. The end definitely, the end definitely is nigh, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Chris Darlton comes on 11th. Benjamin Miles from 41st to 12th. Well, then I'll be darned if he does not win the hard charger award for this one, because that was a pretty that was a pretty hairy drive up to the front as he as he gained a grand total a grand total of 29 positions. Joshua Card wasn't too bad up from 40th to 14th. So that's 26 spots gained. In between those two are Jessica Shelton. It's Jessica Shelton with another solid day in 20, in 13th position. So Jess with another good run today. Trey Wright comes home with a great 15th place run. Got to give a call to him on that one in the Ghouls Pumps team. Uh, best finish he's had in quite a while. Zachary Fitzwater, 16th. Nathan Hudson, 17th. Quentin Moore, 18th. 19th will go to to uh, Mike Becker and Ashlyn Boy comes home in 20th. 21st, Carter Friesen. Kyle Matthews moved up a little bit, but I'm sure not But not the day he wanted to have, I'm sure, in, 20 in 22nd position. So Kyle's going to lose a lot, little bit more points. Coming out of Richmond. Not as much as he lost at Darlington, though, but still. Here. Anyway, um, 23rd, we'll go to Eli Bright. Uh, Sky Connors, 24th. Levi McIntyre with a the, with the disastrous 25th. Jay Jefferson, 26th. 27th, we'll go to William Brock, 28th. We'll go to Cat Batson, Simon Bloomfield, and Zach Winkle, the top 30. In this event, Dion Moon, Mitchell Collins, James Henry, and Bobby Frazier was the last one to finish on the lead lap. Barely finished on the lead lap, I might because Dylan Young was up on the back bumper of the checkered flag. But Bobby Frazier did survive the lead the finish on the lead lap in 34. So 34 cars finished on the lead lap in this event here. Cars that didn't finish on the lead lap, however, were Elijah Gordon, Ryan Brummer, Aiden Shepard, Vince Alvarenga. And the last car to finish the race was Diego Yepes in 39th. Henry Sanford had an engine fail, had a header failure uh, in somewhere in the race there as he finishes as he finishes 40th. And Rob Evans with a camshaft failure. But for all intents and purposes, purposes, for Henry and Rob both, there was an engine failure on the 57 and 8 machines, and Henry comes home 40th, and Rob comes home in last and 41st. Uh, uh, header, header is, uh, all a header is is on the side, is, is, some, is um, where your rocker arms and all that stuff sat on the engine, and the camshaft, as I said, as I explained before, is the device that measures your RPMs, and if you over-rev it, and if you over, and if you over-rev your engine, and, and, and makes the cam work that much harder, then, of course, the, eventually they will break, and without the camshaft, you have no power on your engine. So there you go. No 
So, but, um, yeah, strange and boring uh, engine effects compar- courtesy of yours, Chili Jane's Qualls. Anyway, <laughs> so that will do it today at Richmond International Raceway here. As congratulations again to Dylan Young, the winner of this, uh, the Chevrolet Camaro 400. We'll head the Dober next on its work for the Peak Andy Freeze 400. If you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to the Inner, to the Inner Star Sports and Gaming channel. We got everything. We got everything on the channel. We got interesting gaming videos. We have the uh, in the CR Seth Gonzalez for the Zars for his channel. And be sure to check out our cavalcade of offline series, including the Last of Us Light series, Pizza X series, Hershey's Cup series, Coors Light Truck series, Skittle Super Speedway series, and of course the brand new Duracell Cup series, all available on this channel as well. And of course, it's, and also available on this channel. Is um Michael Norm- is Michael Norman's Blue Wizard All Pro Series, and and be sure to subscribe to Thrash Maniac ninety nine to become a part of the industry of Marvel Studios Cup Series. Check with him on that one. So that will do it here today at um, Richmond International Raceway. And for now, this is James Colson, been production of the NSCRA Offline Racing at its best. We will see you at Dover.